progressive volumes. In this topic we will look at the use of super tins to combine surfaces after each survey of an excavation. Firstly we create a new project we select new we browse back up to the volumes folder select and type in quarry select new we won't be using the project details panel or the recalc panel and we'll maximize plan view 1. So this time we're going to read in multiple files so we're going to use the option file input 12d and we tick on the option for many files we then browse to our folder so we select browse we browse up to volumes and select folder. It will then give us a list of all the 12D ASCII files and the ones we want are the quarry ones so we're simply going to untick the other ones and we don't need to worry about any prefixing so we can just select left click, right click, clear. We'll then select read So a new view data import will be created and all the data will be turned on in that view. If we go to our minus button to look at the models, you'll see we've got surveys for 201703, 201704 and 201705 along with corresponding tins. Okay, we'll just close this view down. and in plan view 1 we'll just maximize that and we're going to turn on the 2017-03 models along with the relevant tin hold the control key down click on the tin and select add let's toggle on the contours so you always check the contours okay we can save away these models to a list if we select view models save restore and for the file name we're going to type in march survey and we're saving away view one and select save okay we can turn these models off remove all and we'll turn on the april models it's 201704 surface and surface points along with the tin add and again we can save this model list away view model save restore and the file name this time will be april survey and select view one and select save we're now going to turn these models off and add the may model and tin Again we'll save away a again we'll save away a model listing. May survey will be the name. The view will be view one and we select save and finish. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start doing our volumes between the, the relevant pickups. So we're just going to go and we're going to check the March and April tins to ensure that the April surface sits inside the March surface. We'll just toggle off the contours. Sometimes actually shading the tin can help here. So if we click on toggle and we click on tin solid you can again see the tins quite clearly. If we wanted to add the May tin, you can see the May tin coming in here. And by moving the, changing the model list, selecting properties, models, 
you can actually move the models up and down so here you're actually seeing the March the April and then the mating okay so let's toggle off the tin solid we're going to turn off all the models we're going to turn on our April survey by selecting view model save restore we go to the restore tab we pick the file for the April survey and we're going to restore into view 1 and select read restore we will calculate the volumes using the exact method so we select the option volumes exact tin to tin the original tin is the 2017-03 the new tin is 2017-04 we'll create a HTML report and the file name will be April volumes okay we're not going to use a polygon because there's actually two parts to this so we select volume okay so here we can see the panel settings the original tin we selected the new tin and then the total cut total fill and balance so we close this down and we can now finish with this panel we're now going to create a combination of the April and March survey to then perform a volume with the May survey so we're going to create a super tin by using the option tins create super tin the super tin will be 201704 combined enter and we pick the tins in the order from oldest to newest left click right click 2017-03 left click right click change the mode to replace and for active left click right click yes now we'll just add a new line using the insert below icon and now we pick the April survey again we select replace yes and we click create okay to have a look at this tin let's go to our perspective view so if we open up the perspective view and we turn on the tin 2017-04 combined you then can have a good look at how the two tins are combined and sit inside each other nicely without any major calculations okay so back to plan view one let's turn all these off now and let's turn on our May survey view save restore so we'll select restore we pick the file name May survey and restore it into view 1 read restore okay so we're going to do our final volumes from the combined April survey to the May survey volumes exact tin to tin the original tin is 2017-04 combined the new tin is 2017-05 we'll change the report type again to HTML the report file name will be May Volumes. We use a polygon and this time it will be the edge of the May survey and select volume. Okay, once we've checked the volume report we can close this down and finish on the panel.